Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Reload and in the last episode we kind of had our first like actual tough part of the game. And mostly it's because we had like four back-to-back -back tough fights. So while also not having the greatest setup in the world, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we, we managed to get through it, but yeah, that, that's kind of the first time in the game where I've actually felt like um, the difficulty of hard was pushing back at me a little bit. A dead end. Looks like we can't progress any further now. On the other hand, we've made good headway. Nicely done. Come back whenever you're ready. It's your call to make, leader. Okay, old document number four. The head researcher came to try and convince me. I was surprised. He was my old mentor. Whenever I remember his timid smile, my resolve wavers. The path to the next floor is blocked off. Um. We can't go any further than this. Looks like we'll just have to wait. Hmm. Well, I mean, who knows when it'll open up? How the heck does it even work anyways? Ugh, I'm so sweaty. I can't wait to take a shower and change out of these clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So there we have it. Now what I probably do want to do is I probably want to go and get that uh, last Arcana card. And if possible, getting the Temperance one actually would be beneficial. Because if I went and got the Temperance Arcana card, uh, Major Arcana card, then the next time we do a stat up, we'll get um, some big bonuses to it. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, we have a couple things to turn in. Um, probably want to do some fusions. And then we probably want to figure out what we want to leave Persona-wise uh, from the dungeon today. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Traverse the Monad Passage. Wonderful. It seems you've completed a request. Well done on fulfilling my request. The Monad Passage you explored seems to be slightly different from the usual doors you've encountered. While they may both house strong shadows, the passage seems to lead deeper into the depths, thus harboring even more powerful shadows. But the rewards you reap are far greater. <laughs> By defeating all the shadows within the passage, you will gain a new major arcana, which in turn will aid your growth. I won't force you to undertake this task, but I do hope you continue to challenge these passages whenever you can. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room are always pleased to bear witness to your, gro to your growth. That will also bring me one step closer to fulfilling my true desire. Oh, embarrassing. My apologies, I didn't intend to take up so much of your time babbling. Hey, anytime girl. I'll listen to you all day. Please take this as your reward. Okay, got a black sword. Wonderful. And we'll turn in the fourth document, and this is usually money as a reward, right? Thank you for your assistance. Please take these as your reward. 40,000 yen. Very nice. Okay, we have a date with her, and we have Persona Fusion Milestone, which we are four away from. Might be able to get that today. Very well, then. Okay. I'm trying my hardest not to lose my voice. Welcome to the I don't know why, but this weekend I've been I've been struggling with my my, my my voice has been raspy. Like I don't have a sore throat or anything, like I'm not sick. Um but hey, I did go to my friend's 30th and uh, we went bar hopping, so maybe I uh, am losing my voice from that. <laughs> you are aware that the full moon uh that the moon grows full. Welcome to the velvet room. Okay. Let's go do our fusions. Regist will you register it to the companion? All registered. Are you in search of new power? Well then, shall we take a look? Okay, first things first. Which Elagor fusion are we going to do? Probably this, this one? Yeah, this Please one for choose sure. choose what skills to inherit. Okay, we only get one, unfortunately, but that's okay. So do we want Assault Dive? We it want Assault seems Dive. seems you have been blessed with some... <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? I am Eligor. I shall become your strength and secure you a future filled with days of love and war.
It is a special persona you desire. This would be a wise choice. How much would you cost? 7,000? That's not bad. I will have to buy back Elagor, because I need him for the tower social link. And he's the only tower that we have right now. I think he's the lowest level tower you can get, so... Okay, let's do it. wish to inherit? He doesn't need dodge fire. It appears it will receive an immense amount. It's finally time. Can you have fusion accidents on special fusions? I wonder if it's blocked on those. That'd be wild. I'd be upset, honestly. The power to see both past and future, let it be the flame that protects your heart. This, I tell you, is no lie. You are such a weird-looking dude. No idea what's going on with Floros. <laughs> Crit rate boost is cool. Doubles the chance of dealing a critical hit with apt pupil. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose Rakunda in this case. This this dude's built for those crits. And uh, he has pierce boost as well, which makes his pierce ones more effective. Heavy strike to all foes. That one might yeah, let's let's put that over Swift. Uh you already resist. It might be good for passing on, but I think we're gonna pass on evade, so. Soul Sea Droplet. I think it's like the third one of those ones we've gotten. Okay. Welcome to the team, Floros. What kind of persona do you desire? Satanta and Yamata no Orochi to make a Thunderbird. I think we'll need King Frost for a special take fusion later the down the line, so... This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive... Well then, shall we begin? Genbu. We got Virtue. Virtue is usually a pretty good healer. This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? Once again, I want both of those. <laughs> would be a wise choice. Okay, what's our highest level stuff? Baphomet and Floros. No, we don't want to use Floros for anything. That this one might work. Is powerful. 
Okay, we know we have Marakukaja on somebody else right now, so that might be useful. Please choose what skills to inherit. Okay, Bufula. Have been be <laughs> a new power emerges. Hear my songs that invoke the power of your heart. From now on, I will be by your side. I'm gonna allow this one to happen, see what it turns into. All right, not good for her, unfortunately, but. is powerful. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Okay, Mithras. Now, too high level, okay. Take all the time you need to consider. For you. Oh, too high level. I may just leave it at this for now. Let's see, Satanta is also star. We're going to be starting the star social link soon, so we want at least one of those. To be is a great joy of mine. And I don't necessarily want to do this one because I still want Chariot. Although making it will give me fortune, which I still need anyway. And I could buy back a cheap Chariot if I needed to. We got an Emperor. We don't need Hierophant, but Floros is a good one, so we're going to keep him. Same with Baphomet with Devil. We do need a Magician. We don't need Mothman. Oh, so I can make a Legion. Come to be it'd, be a great joy of mine. it'd be lower level, but at least it would be an unregistered that we're creating. Is and if I remember acceptable? correctly, Mothman didn't have anything super special anyway. Megiddo and the Matarunda. What do you wish to inherit? We have somebody else who has decent fire. Megido, Matarunda, and maybe Zayanga. It sure. appears it will receive a good amount of well then. Shall we begin? Okay, that just fills another slot in the compendium at least. Which I kind of do want to do 100% in the compendium. We'll see if we manage to. I want to, though. How does this guy do a sexy dance? <laughs> Someone explain that to me, huh? Mm, confuse boost might actually be good. Okay. Very well. 
We look So, last thing that I need to do... Which I'm not sure how long it would take... But I'm tr kinda hoping to get that Major Arcana Temperance card, but... I don't know how easy that would be. So I'm gonna try that off screen. I'm gonna run through some of the early floors. Um, in this case, I've explored all of the floors except for the bottom ones, so maybe I'll try from the bottom, but I I wonder if lower level is less likely to get those, but uh, either way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. So um, I'm going to pause, and I'll be back in just a minute, and then we're going to be leaving for the day. Okay, I'm back. So um, I found out very, very quickly going in there is uh, basically the first time I got shuffle time, I, I looked down at the cards and realized that there wasn't a new empty slot. So in other words, during this run, we will not get the extra bonuses that we get from items that we get during that dungeon run. So in other words, the next time we come in, we should ha be able to collect six Major Arcana. I wasn't able to do it this time. I did decide to still just run through each of the things because, well, on the, like the second floor, I found another Twilight Fragment and I was like, eh, it won't take me very long to run through this. So I just went ahead and ran through it anyway, even though I wasn't going to get that Arcana. Um, I also picked up a couple of uh, very low level um, just because. You may as well, right? So right now I have a Justice that I didn't have before. Um, and a Lovers and a Priestess. I uh, already have Priestess, but I didn't have Lovers and I didn't have Justice. So, you know, if we end up unlocking those social links, we'll have those. Uh, we have Justice unlocked already. Um, that one's Chihiro. Um, but Priestess and Lovers, um, we don't have those unlocked. But we might be close to Lovers. We might be close to Lovers. Um, and if not, then they can just be fused or dropped out for somebody else. So... All right, but I think we're done. Uh, one thing that I was gonna address because I actually like got a comment on my YouTube channel on one of my Persona videos. What is it, episode 15, I think? Yeah, episode 15. So while I'm doing the Arca run, um, but this person said you could have used the flashlight items instead of using all of your character's SP on light attacks. And I found that interesting because a lot of people don't realize that I have a lot of internal logic about the way that I play these games that's internalized and not spoken out loud because I have hundreds and hundreds of hours of experience in Persona games. And I'm not saying that my methods are correct, but what I do want to make clear to people is that I do have an internal logic for a lot of the things that I do. So as we saw in like, what, the last episode when we had all of those tough fights, those are the times that I use gems. Those are the times that I use items that are um, offensive, right? And the reason for that is, is, I mean, for one, look at the Okumura fight, right? The Okumura fight benefits greatly from being able to use an ability that a certain character doesn't have access to. If I waste all of my items on simple fights to either try and find weaknesses or to just abuse a weakness for a very, very small gain, a very, very short momentary gain, then I don't have those items that are limited, very limited, in fact, to use in boss fights when they'd be more useful. So that's my internal logic. And like, um, so I actually was using those in those boss fights, right? We can use curse paper and things like that to do that. So I'm never ever gonna use a consumable item that is fairly limited and or costs a lot of money in order to replenish when I can just use SP. And the thing is, is that people are, I think some people like view it a little bit differently than I do. Um, but it becomes pretty clear pretty quickly where your SP limitations lie. And when have we ever had to use this clock more than once in a single run? Never. So, I have figured out my way of managing SP, and it's not necessarily by not using it during smaller fights. I use it pretty... Pretty... I, I use my abilities a lot in my fights in order to find weaknesses and to abuse weaknesses because I found that it's very effective and it actually ends up in the long run being more SP efficient. And as long as I'm like not having to use this clock more than once in a single run, I'm happy with that. Look at how many Twilight Fragments I have. I'm doing fine on those. So why not save my consumable items that will either cost me money or are in fact com totally limited in the amount that we can ever get for boss fights, where they're going to be more beneficial to me. So 
So all of that is simply just to voice out one of the things that I don't voice, which is that like I do have an internal logic for when and where I use consumable items, especially of the offensive type like that. So I just wanted to mention that, and that's not to call out the person who made this comment because they may run under a, di a completely different set of internal logical rules based on their own experiences. Mine are based off of my experiences, and I do have hundreds of hours of experience in Persona games, so like, it definitely is based off of, the, uh, you know, a lot of experience here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the 100% correct way, it's just my way. <laughs> so I just wanted to throw that out there because a lot of people are gonna like look at things that I do and be like, why didn't you do it the way I do it? And it's because, well, I have an internal logic that is telling me that this is more efficient than another way. And I'm not saying that I'm always right. There are probably plenty of times where I'm a little bit inefficient, and it's okay to be inefficient. I think that uh, being too overly efficient um, actually slows down my gameplay. Um, so there are also times where my internal logic is basically saying, okay, what is the trade-off here? Is it really gonna cost me that much to speed this up so that it's a little bit of a better experience for the viewers? And like, I'm sometimes making that trade-off, and I don't always voice it, so I just wanted to mention that because like, those things pop up and I try to explain them, but like, you know, it's, it's tough because everybody's experience is completely subjective, right? And so the reasons why you may want to use items more in smaller fights, uh, you may have a really good internal logic for it and it may make sense to you and it may actually still be just as efficient as my way. I just choose to do it differently, but I just wanted to talk about that because I found that fascinating. As I was reading that, I was like, well, of course I do it this way. And I'm like, well, of course they don't know why. That's why I do it this way. Good day. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, I'm here guessing this is for requests. fusions. Yep. Fusion milestone. Cool. Let's hear the results. Thank you for your assistance. Please take these as your reward. Five more twilight fragments. See, like we have so many of those. Like Very we're doing well, great. <laughs> we're doing so good. Good. Here are my requests. Very well, then. And honestly, I wonder if that comes from, like, SP anxiety. I used to have a lot more SP anxiety in Persona games than I do now. In other words, how much I'm using SP, I used to be a lot more conservative. And I think that that's where a lot of people start. But I don't know, I feel like I've just got enough experience in these games at this point that the SP anxiety isn't nearly as bad. Because I know that there's always a way to deal with it. <laughs> Some of them are more inconvenient than others, um, but like we're doing fine, so I have no worries. Um, but yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done. All right, let's talk to everybody, and then we're gonna leave. Mm. Amatakun is really put together, and he speaks so politely too. I'm sure his parents really cared about him. I'll support you all from here. Is there anything I can do? Yes. According to Amatasan's profile data, he should be dormant in his bedroom at this time. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that Amadasan will be able to detect our current activities. Shall we depart immediately? Hmm. Amada may try to act like an adult, but he's still in elementary school. He seems to look up to you as a role model, so please try to help him out where you can. Hmm. Well, the news of Amada joining us in the dorm sure was unexpected. Even if it's only temporary. Honestly, I've got reservations about this, but that doesn't matter right now. Getting distracted by outside things while in Tartarus is only going to end in failure. Stay focused. It's a good outlook. Hmm. Sure, Hamada-san's mature for his age, but don't you think Yukatan's giving him too much credit? It'd be nice if she praised him, praised me like that once in a while. Come on, let's get going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hamada-kun's really mature for his age. I can definitely think of someone who could learn a thing or two from him. Who are you referring to, I wonder? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, hello. I mean, hell, I explored every single floor in Tartarus during that run. <laughs> every single floor. Got a few messages. Okay, Yuko and Keisuke. Are either of those on my list? I actually need to check. Um, let's see. Chariot and Emperor, so no, because that's fortune and strength. Okay. Doesn't mean they shouldn't be on the list. 
But the list is confirmed. <laughs> Okay, so it is a Tuesday, and we may or may not have a lot of things that we can do around town during the summer, so. We got Nozomi, unfortunately. <laughs> oh yeah, and we got a date! We got a date! You know we're doing that first. Come on, we can't let Koromaru beat us. Let's go to Tartarus, man. We just did, bro. We were very successful, too. Don't those kids look strange? That one near the clubhouse, is he from Gekukon? They look sort of slack and unmoving. Is he being lazy since it's summer vacation? One of the women in my neighborhood has a kid who goes to Gekukon, but she's energetic and sweet. Very different from those kids. Hmm, talking a lot of shit over here. Okay, I see how it is. Sometimes that girl over there who's stalking me loses my trail. I don't know why, but I get anxious when that happens. <laughs> I think you kind of like it. Wait a sec, am I obsessed with her too? <laughs> you guys should probably talk about this. This is getting out of hand. Oh, did you just see that? Look at that guy over there. He just spit his gum into the fountain. So disgusting. What is he thinking? Oh. Oh. Maybe she's not into him. <laughs> Whoops. Now you're here. Now, I think she used to be obsessed with him, so I wonder if it's flipping now. And now he's gonna get obsessed with her, and she's gonna not be interested anymore. I've got something for you, so here you go. It's a token of gratitude the missing housewife left with us a short while ago. You rescued her, right? I won't ask questions, just take her. Okay, some emeralds. Come to think of it. They found that missing schoolboy the other day. I tried questioning him, but his answers didn't make any sense. He said some kids saved him from an attack by a black thing. He left a reward with us, so I'll hand it over to you. And also, it's implied that, like, they may remember a few of the details, but, like, they forget pretty soon after. Shift boost. Cool. Good to see you. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Okay, you I'm guessing that this is going to be a lot of money. Sell all? Wanna sell in bulk? 120,000. I'll take sure. it. Sure, it's a deal. Almost half a mil. Okay, very cool. All done here? Come all done here. Soon. There's some other things we could sell, but a couple of armor pieces and things like that, probably. Good day. Is there something I can assist you with? Ask Elizabeth out. Oh my! I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? We shall. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. Naganaki Shrine. So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. Oh no, here she goes again. I wonder if this is enough. You know, I'm sure they'll be very pleased. Ellipses. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> he just shakes his head. <laughs> it's like, you do you, girl. What else are you going to spend the money on? I finished presenting my offering. Though I normally do not reside in this world, I wonder if I, too, may receive divine grace. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. You're not wrong. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. Yep, it's all superstition. <laughs> all right, you my cynical live in ass, a truly right? Really wondrous place. I don't Could really. Those paper strips tied there be. I don't really have any ounce in my soul. I grew up very religious, so my spirituality is at zero percent at this point in my life. Like anything that has spiritual connotations, I'm just like, nope. Science exists. It's it's all science, bitch. Just as I thought. No disrespect we to the believers. This is just how I feel. Fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Okay. 
You do that. I'll just wait here for a couple hours. I decided to wait until Elizabeth is satisfied. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see. In the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case... <laughs> Honestly, that was dope. <laughs> In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. <laughs> like I would ever say that to her. Any way she does it is the right way. You should try something else. That was quite entertaining. I would very much like for you to continue teaching me how to use the other equipment. Could I ask that you start with the jungle gym over here? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> oh dear, it's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. I mean, I don't even know what that's actually for. Today was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Oh, I'm so happy you're happy. Warms my soul. We had a successful date with best girl. Let's go. Honest. Lately, I've been wondering. I'm listening. Do I find this world enjoyable simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? Or another possibility? Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. Why not both? We all get excited about experiencing new things that we've never experienced, but also having company while you do it is amazing, so. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. I hope Igor lets you. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do, I'd like to go on the slide one more time. <laughs> Shall we seize the opportunity I see what you and did go there. in tandem? Ooh. Tandem slide, let's go. After Elizabeth had her fun, we headed back to the Velvet Room together. I live for these dates. Thank you for earlier. Now then, how may I be of assistance? Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. It seems you've completed a request. One moment. Thank you for showing me around Naganaki Shrine. I must say that the harmony between religion and recreation was indeed superb. Come to think of it. I am currently in negotiations with my master about introducing a set of horizontal bars in our room. If I should win his favor, please stop by to make use of them. Please take this as your reward. How awesome would it be if we actually like went into Fuse and she's just like standing on top of the horizontal bar for just no reason. Okay, Vitality Slash, uh, or Sash, not Slash. All right, we're Very completely well. caught up on requests. We're crushing it. On our way to that 100%, huh? Plus 50 HP, okay. Okay, nobody's currently using an HP one, but that one's our best one so far. All right, while I'm thinking about it, we used a lot of revival items, so I want to buy a couple. Should I wait for Saturday? Yes. Will I forget on Saturday if I don't do it now? Yes. So I'm going to buy it now. What? what? You made up your mind? You sure? You sh Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Okay, we have ten on hand. Come again, yeah? Okay, so... Who do we have access to today? Oh, yeah, we have a new one we can start today, I think. That means we can ignore Nozomi, the moon one. <laughs> Wait. Oh, is it just you guys? All right, we finished theirs. I didn't realize that they would still show up. 
Okay, so we don't have the new one today then, right? Let me just make sure, because I can't remember exactly where he hangs out. I think it's usually just right here on, like, on street level. Yeah, okay. So I don't think he's here then. He didn't show up on this, right? Okay. Well, I guess it's Moon then. I don't think we have a Moon um, Arcana Persona, so we're probably gonna have to get one. to the Velvet Room. Red, will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. I, too, please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Well, then, shall we take a look? Too high level for Giramakala. Anything else in the list? Are you finished? Um, I don't think I can we look dismiss from here. So I think I have to leave. We'll go in, dismiss somebody. Which in this case, probably... Honestly, Priestess and Lovers are kind of close. But Aptris is really cheap to buy back. Oh yeah, and we also have Sarsvati, so yeah, that one makes sense. Good. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. Okay, by Arcana. Please, is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Very well. We look for Listen. Munch munch burp. Wondering about my clothes? Well, you see, the reason I wear our school uniform is it's hard to find something that'll fit. Anyway, want to go for a bite somewhere? My poor stomach's been crying for a while. Ugh, he's not even ready? You suck. Alright, well, it's still probably the most efficient choice, so let's do it. You're not going to eat that? You mind if I have it? I'm sorry for giving him this voice. I'm just being disrespectful at this point. I feel our relationship will grow stronger soon. Okay, head back to the dorm. We're at a point where we can really start working on tower when it shows up at night now. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Day after tomorrow's full moon, huh? I'm already getting fired up. Let's kick some ass. It's honestly hot as hell, but at least I'm one cool dude. Anyways, you know you can always count on me, right? Our enemies got nothing on me. By the way, I thought you'd like to know. Koromaru's condition seems to be improving. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Glad to hear it. Precisely. Yes, he may have a diminutive, diminutive figure, but he's a fighter. We would do well to learn from his example and stay vigilant in our own endeavors. That was pretty good. Well, training during this season is really exhausting. I'd like to wring a bit more range of movement out of my body, but maybe I should stop and rethink my pacing. Maybe just chill out for the summer. No. Uh, don't be stupid. <laughs> the shadows are getting tougher. No matter what we do, there's no time to rest. Okay, it's a Tuesday. We could work as Chagall. It's an option. What else is on here? Okay, let's see if uh, Tower is available tonight. 
If not, then we'll probably work. So presumably, if we got that temperance card that gave us more things, would we get two from working at Chagall? So two courage and two charm? I wonder. Just real quick. I'm gonna see if URL guy has anything new. Nah, he doesn't. Customer's baby was bawling, but I managed to soothe them gracefully. I mustered up my courage and helped arguing customers resolve their issues. I gave you a little bonus on top of your usual pay. Thanks for helping out during peak time. Alright, I'm hoping I can max one of these out before summer break is over. I actually don't even know when we go back to school. Okay, we head back to the dorm. Got a few messages. Okay. Honestly, I think I am gonna do Kaz. Chariot's on my list. We'll decide later. We'll take a look at what's available, but... I think it'd still be pretty efficient. Especially since we can't have the event at school during the break. Okay, we have lots of options. But since it still is going to be useful... Yeah. You know, I'm going to just real quickly though... Check on each of these. Yeah, this is what I was wondering. All right, so he's new, so that's an option. Let's find out if you're ready to progress. Hi, you have today off, right? I have cram school right now, but I'm not going. Will you play with me? Okay, so Maiko is gonna get added to the list. So, Hanged is not ready. Um, so we got Chariot, Emperor, and Hanged. Moon is now ready, so... So yeah, you... We know from the last one that you're ready, correct? Okay, cool. And since Chariot is not ready, I think we will hang out with him today. Looks like Miyamoto wants to hang out. Hey, what are you up to today? If you're free, let's go somewhere. Let me know if you can make it before afternoon. Okay, we have Mithras. Um, hey, sorry for dumping some real heavy stuff on you last time, but you think you could help me out again? I'm going to my sister's place today and I want to get something for my nephew. I'm pretty bad at picking out presents and stuff, so I figured I could ask you for a second opinion. What should I get a five-year-old kid who's injured his leg? Any ideas? I mean, a video game. You can't get him running shoes if he injured his leg. <laughs> That's disrespectful. And no kid gets excited about clothes. Well, that makes sense. That way he won't be bored at home. But games can be pretty expensive. N no, this is for my nephew. Anything for my nephew. All right. We became a lot closer today. All right. Well, let's get going. I'm counting on you, Vernak. And uh, if I don't have enough money, you mind spotting me? Hey, you know what? I've got almost half a mil. Sure. After going shopping with Miyamoto, I headed back to the dorm. It's the least I could do. I'm rich. Tomorrow's the full moon. Are you ready, Vernak? Yeah. Yep. Good, me too. Well, aside from being ready mentally, we have to get physically prepared too. 
We'll be on standby in the dorms tomorrow, so let's get everything that we need tonight. All right then, let's do our best like always. Excuse me. The population of the lost increases noticeably before a full moon. I have reconfirmed my objective to assure we win at any cost, no matter what. Um... Can I help you? Hi! We have to win this time, too. I'll give it everything I've got, so that I can see Korochan again, now that he's gotten better. Kutsi's here? Well, do you need some... mer time to get used to the operations? Hold on. What is the joke? So it's a playoff of summertime. And is it supposed to be some more time? You're dead to me, Akutsuki. Enough already. Enough. Just, I've had enough. <laughs> did, did I bomb that one? Good luck on the next one's, uh, one as well. I'll be rooting for you from the shadows. <laughs> just like... <laughs> I tried to insult him and he just brushed it off. Well done. All right. Our girl Yukari is working on her nails. Hey! I'm starting to get nervous about tomorrow. I think I'm gonna check one more time to make sure I'm fully prepared. Okay, can I see when we go back to school? We got Summer Festival. Oh damn, we got a long time. Okay. Maybe I should have left um, the old couple for more of the summer break, huh? So we'll, we'll probably finish Moon. We'll be able to start um, Hayase's. And then we'll just be as productive as we can with getting our stats up, I guess, if we uh, have empty days. All right. I honestly need to check um, working at the cinema to see if I can get stat bonuses from the movie that's playing there. I was given a cup of, ca of the cafe signature pheromone coffee during my break. I dealt with housewives complaining that the pheromone coffee has no effect. Increased our wage. Awesome. Isn't that two in a row that he increased our wage? That's awesome. Not that we really need the money. It's getting late. I should head back to the dorm. Okay, full moon. Big day. There will be a full moon tonight. A powerful shadow will appear. I should stay home today and conserve my strength. Well, here we are. A full moon once again. Any luck, Yamagishi? Yes, I can sense it. There's a shadow reading tonight. I don't, expect it. I don't remember where we're going for this one. I'm trying to think, and I'm, I'm, I'm like picturing them in my head, and I'm like, okay, that one had that character that we don't have, that one had that character that we don't have. I don't know what tonight's is. That's what I'm talking about. It's located by the deserted houses in the northern part of Iwatodai, but there's something strange. The reading is coming from underground. Almost ten meters. Hold up, I thought... Hmm. Maybe it's in some kind of basement? Okay, I remember what one this one was, but I thought I had Koro by that point. Hmm, okay. According to the records for the Northern Harbor, Must be misremembering. there are no structures that match that criteria. However, there once was an underground facility used by the military. 
the military. Is that true? Well, the architectural and geographical data for the area was uploaded into her memory. Then again, the information hasn't been updated in 10 years. Correct. The data is 10 years old. Shouldn't someone fix that? <laughs> so how exactly do we proceed? I guess we're going underground. We won't know more until we actually get there. Old relics of war. It seems the situation is still unclear at this time. With that in mind, we'll wait until we arrive before we decide who should be deployed. Agreed. Understood. All right, let's go. Iwatodai Northern Harbor Underground Facility Entrance. I didn't know there was a place like this so close by. Target should be around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> well done. Who are they? Lucia couldn't sense them at all until now. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. Yeah, it's wild that we've seen them so many times and yet nobody in our party has met them yet. <laughs> My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. Now then, we've been keeping an eye on your activities for some time. From what we hear, you've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. Unfortunately, we've come here tonight to put an end to that. What did you say? You've gained many new allies in such a short time. No doubt because this land crawls with sin. Ah, Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. So you know about Tartarus. You know... Wait, why the hell would you want to stop us? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. If shadows in the dark hour disappear, we could lose our power, and that's not something we can abide by. Get it? Power? Are you saying you're Persona users too? I implore you to think more carefully. Do you really want to lose your abilities? Not just anyone can wield the power of a Persona. The Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. And the same goes for the Tower of Demise. That's your reason for stopping us? Then you're the ones who need to think. Who knows what might happen if we don't do something? A catastrophe brought on by the shadows. What difference does it make, really? Disasters will always exist, and humans will always destroy each other, regardless of what the shadows do. Either way, no one can predict what misfortunes will befall who. But more importantly, it's time you accepted the truth. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of fulfillment the Dark Hour has given you. What? You think I like this? Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic ordinary lives? Huh? Yeah, we kind of know where Junpei stands on that. At all. Whatever. He's conflicted. You all got your own selfish reasons for fighting. That so-called justice of yours? <laughs> Ain't nothing but an excuse. There's nothing righteous about any of you. You're all just hypocrites. Like hell you chumps are gonna stop us. What did you say? <laughs> Have fun in there. Damn it! They locked us in. There is no need to panic. Instead of wasting resources, I recommend we prioritize the shadow first. Great! If we freak out, then we're just giving them what they want. The shadow's moving. I think it's noticed us. All right, let's focus on our original goal. We can look for a way out after we've won. Go ahead and select your team. Everyone, prepare for battle.
Okay. Later. There was a slight accident, but let's focus on the mission for now. I feel the target's presence from beyond that door. Once you're ready, we can go. All right. Okay, I guess as the new party member, probably gonna go in. Yukari for healing. You've got Tarunda, she's got Rakunda. I've also got Rakunda. Pretty sure I still have Rakunda, right? <laughs> yeah, we've also got Sukunda. Okay, is that the group we're gonna try and go in with? It might be. All right, do you guys have any unique dialogue? Well, should be a worthy opponent, you ready? Leader. It is possible to destroy the sealed door. However, there's a possibility the entire facility will collapse. It is inadvisable to risk putting everyone in unnecessary danger. Additionally, ensuring destruction of the target remains our primary objective. Hmm. We'll worry about how to escape later. Defeating the shadow takes priority. Do you want me to go? Um. Let's focus on the shadow right now. Please choose who will join you on the front lines. Come on, let's get going. Hey, all was up with them? Popping in to preach all high and mighty just to hightail it? You bastards think we're scared of being locked up? Whatever, let's do this. Okay. Well, I mean, this is actually a great place to end this episode, so let's do that. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one where we uh, fight the shadow. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pato Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.